Peanuts, get your peanuts here. Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Z and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Now today's tutorial guys is this awesome looking truck car carrier which fits in all the cars with overhang. And this is what we're going to build today guys. The first thing you want to do is grab yourself a coal block. You also want to grab yourself a stone slab, a iron trap door, and what else should we grab whilst we're here? Yeah, we'll grab some corner stairs. We'll grab a dispenser, a birch fence gate, and I think we'll grab some signs as well. Oh, and we grab the banner and an anvil. And the first thing you want to do, guys, is put your first block down, which is the coal block, by leaving a three space gap and placing another. Follow that with stone slabs all across the front, and we'll lift that up by two. Around the back here, we're going to come out behind the tire, and we're going to come out by three slabs. And then we're going to put in an iron trapdoor, followed with another slab, three iron trapdoors. another slab and what we're going to do is with the iron trapdoors we're going to place that on top of the slab and we're going to bring that out by one then we're going to place our last two coal blocks down like so so from the top you should have something that looks like that and from the side something that looks like that and it's important you put these iron trapdoors like so with the banners, we may as well just drop them in whilst we're here. Put them in either side for our nice mud flaps. At this point, we're going to go back to our iron trapdoors. We're going to place two trapdoors next to the uh, coal blocks. And we're going to fill the center in with stone slabs. Bring it out by three, just like that. With our birch fence gates, we're going to place one. We're going to post that in, then two either side. That's going to be sort of like another bumper bar. Now inside here, we can just grab our slabs and we just go and paste them inside like so. should have something that looks like that. On the front here, we're going to grab our stone brick stairs. We're going to place them on each of the corners, facing outways. And we're going to turn one upside down and then back around again for a nice big wheel arch. Just like that. Cool. With your signs, you're going to place one here, and you're just going to put in your number plate. Leave a space and place another. And we're going to put in buttons either side. Now that we've actually got that done, we can actually get rid of our blocks here, and we can go and grab a stone brick stairs cobblestone wall, a dispenser, a wooden trap door, blue carpet, your choice of two colors, I'm going to choose yellow concrete and blue concrete, ladder, and black concrete. With the black concrete, we're going to place three on the front here and lift it up by three. We're going to come around to the back. We're going to grab our first color. Now, the colors you choose, it's up to you. But the color that you want to put through the middle is the color that you want to put down next. So I'm going to choose yellow. So I'm just going to lift that up and bring that out like so. Right here, what we're going to do is we're going to place a blue block. So we place one either side. And then with a cobblestone wall behind that. And a dispenser 
on the trap door. So we're just going to face it this way. So you've got that kind of nice little line. And this is all built in default as well, guys. So we're just going to do that and that. And it's got that connection. Okay. Now behind here, we go back to our yellow and just filter that through. And with that, you'll have a little bit of cobblestone wall here. And then you've got that big chunk and a little bit connecting onto the dispenser. Round to the front we go, we're going to put in our ladders on the grill. Just like that. And already you can still see the beginning of this truck taking form. Once again, go back to your yellow block and place across the middle. And I'm going to do it again here. So it's one, two, three, four, by three block. On top of the blue block, you want to place your stone brick stairs upside down, like so. And on the wooden block, uh, the blue block, you want to grab your trap door and just flip that up. Cool, cool, cool. Now behind the dispenser, you're going to place two blue blocks. And on top of those two blocks, you're going to place your yellow. Now we can swap out a ladder and we'll just grab a block of iron. And behind the blue blocks, you're going to place two iron blocks and that's going to be your gas tank. And on top of the first iron block, you're going to place a blue. On top of that blue, you're going to place one yellow. And on top of that yellow, you're going to place one blue block. You're going to come out by two and drop down by one. So there's your little window. I'm going to come inside a bit and we're going to grab our yellow again. And we're just going to place that through like so. And basically give ourselves a bit of a flooring. You can change that color if you want. It's up to you. With our cobblestone wall, we're going to come up on the top of the dispenser by three blocks. And in front of the stair here on the blue block, we're going to place one either side. Going back to our blue block, we're just going to close off the top of the truck here. And right next to these cobblestone walls, we're just going to place an extra three. Now I'm just going to clear my blocks. I'm going to grab some other ones. We are going to grab a glass block. You can use clear or a black. I use, like to use the black. I'm going to use a pane of black glass pane, a glass block, an iron bar. We're also going to grab a lever, some redstone, an anvil, uh, let's see what else we need. We need a white bed, item frame, and a button. With your item frames, you're going to pop them directly on the front. And inside, we're going to place a bed and flip them around for our headlights. With our stone button, we're going to place three on the front and one either side. On the grill on the top here, we're going to place two buttons either side and with the lever facing backwards. With your iron bars on top of this cobblestone wall, you're going to place one either side. And with our glass blocks, we're going to come directly where this blue block and the stair is. We're going to come back by one block. We're going to put a line of blocks and fill it inside. On the glass block, we're going to place an iron bar either side and we'll replace that with a glass pin on top of the actual iron bars. Like that. So you've got your side mirrors. Coming down to the back, 
right behind the wheel here on the last tire. I'm going to place an anvil. We need to go and grab our stone brick stairs. We're going to come right down to the back here. And we're going to place behind the gas tanks, so we're going to place one here. Place two levers either side and one in the front. With your redstone, we're just going to bring that out into a U pattern and flick it on. With your blue block, take out these three, replace it with all blue glass, uh, blue blocks. And if you like, you can take out and put a window. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it all blue. With your iron bars, you're going to come up by three, across, and down by three, and filter through just like that by leaving a one block gap. Replacing the iron bars, we're going to swap that out to an iron trap door. We're going to place the iron trap door one, two, and three. It's going to give you a little bit of more texture and a bit more detail towards the back, which I think is looks really good. Very nice. From this point, we're going to grab a stone slab and we are going to grab another iron trap door because we're going to use the slabs on top of the glass and the iron trap door like so. So it's starting to bend up into a nice kind of pattern. Okay, from this point, what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our buttons. We're going to place two buttons here and here on the corner, and one down the bottom. One, two, and here. And with our pane of glass, we're going to plop that directly inside the side mirrors. We're going to swap the glass now to a sign. We're going to come down and we're going to place one on the yellow and two on the yellow here. And with the dispenser and the cobblestone wall, we're going to place one, two. So that way it keeps the run of the signs and it just gives it that kind of more texture and a bit more detail to the actual rig itself. Beautiful. From this point, we're going to grab our item frames. We're going to chuck in our item frames on the actual rims. Then we're going to add a button. And then you can use any kind of color block. I'm just going to use an iron block here. I'm just going to pop that in for extra detail. Like so. With your lever, you're just going to place one directly under the iron bars just to hold it up. With your item frames, you're going to come up to the slabs at the top here. You're going to place one on the right and one on the left. And you're going to put a sign in the middle. And once again, you can put a company name. I'm just going to chuck in my name here. And with a white block or glass block, just pop one in like so for extra headlights. Now I'm just going to clear my blocks again and grab another lot. Whatever color is the main color, which is blue, you want to grab that color carpet. You also want to grab, I'm just going to grab a button just in case we need one. Um, and you can use a snowball. Let's, let's grab the snowball, because you can use a snowball if you don't want to use blocks. You can use a snowball just to give the kind of roundish lights. I think I did it on that one over there. Yeah, I did. With a blue carpet, you're just going to place one, two on the front. And then we're going to 
replace one and two on the middle. And inside here, we're gonna replace those two with a blue block. So it gives you that kind of run all the way through. Back to your carpet for an extra bit of depth. You're gonna place a bit of carpet on the top. Just like that. We'll come down, we're going to grab a lever and place three levers facing outwards on the front. And we need, which I haven't got, we need some dark oak wood fence. I'm going to place that on top of the funnels like that. Looking good, looking good. And I think that is the build of the actual truck itself. Now for the actual trailer. The ingredients that you need for this is stone slabs. You want to grab yourself a block of coal, blue banner. You also want to grab birch fence, stone brick stairs, and a sign, item frame, button, and an iron bar. And we'll, we'll just get started on that. So with your stone slab, we're going to come to the actual anvil, and we're going to come up by two on the side. And then we're going to come in front and place a line of slabs so it's all connected in. Then we're going to run back by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Then you're going to turn your stairs upside down by three. Back to your slabs and put four. One, two, three, and four. Just like that. And whilst we're here, we can actually put in our three tires. Come across, count by five. One, two, three, four, five. Back again by three. Put in your stairs. One, two, and three. One, two, three, box of coal. And with the actual stone slabs, we're just going to run that and connect it in. Voila. Now all we have to do is quickly go and fill all this in. So you should have something as long as that and all filled in except for the wheel arches, which are the stone brick stairs. From this point, we're going to come down and we're going to dig a little trench here. We're going to come down by two, one, two. Do the same again, bring it all the way across. And we can just fill this bit in. grab our stone slabs again and then we're going to put one on the corners from this point we're going to leave a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and on the twelfth you're going to place block and here what we're going to do is we're going to come up by five so we're going to do an angle one two Three, four, and five. 
Do the same again this side. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. So we've got that kind of arch. Then what we're going to do is we're going to leave a one, two, three, and four. And I'm just going to put a marker here. So I'm just going to place that there. Leave a space, place another marker. Then a one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, you're going to place a stone slab, leave a space, and a stone slab. What we're going to do here is we're going to grab a cobblestone wall. And right where these banners are, the markers, we're going to knock them out, place a cobblestone wall. And we're going to place one down the end, like so. Back to your actual stone slabs, we're going to come up one, two, three, four, So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And where it's on the cobblestone wall, we're going to come up by another one. So we can lift this cobblestone wall up and it's going to connect nicely. So three cobblestone wall in height. So one, two, and three. And just place a slab on top. From this point, we can actually run this across like so. From this point, now that we've got our angle up, we're going to lift that up by another block on the bar. And what we can do then is place a block here and turn our stair upside down on that. So it's like on the corner. Place two, three, four, and five. From this point, you're going to grab your stone slab. You're going to come up by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you should be in line with this iron trap door. I'm gonna come up by five. One, two, three, four, five. Connect that. So you've got that nice little bit of overhang. Then we're gonna lift it up by another block and just make it two and then run a bunch of signs along the top like so see so that way you can put like your sign or whatever you want to put like you know truck or whatever it is you can put like individual letters which will look pretty cool as well now coming down to this part again what we're going to do is we are going to go over to these stumps of cobblestone wall we're going to come up by two and this one by three, two, three, just like that. So one, two, one, two, and three. And it's basically, it's just mirror imaging what you've already got. So, whoop, no, we don't have one there. Lift it over, over, like so. So it all connects in really nicely. Okay. Now when it comes to this cobblestone wall here, we're going to grab our stone brick stairs. We're going to run stone brick stairs going across. Like so. And then we can actually connect our stone bricks. So we'll bring them and we'll run that across. So it's connected in nicely here. Do the same again. One there and there. And we can fill that in. Now you can either fill it in with um, bricks or slabs. What I would like to do, and I would actually, I'm just gonna fill that in here and here. Um, what I like to do is fill it in with iron trap doors. I think it, it sets it off just that little bit more. So let's go and do that real quick. So we're just going to run them across. It's 
just more realistic if you do with the trap doors. You've got the air vents for in case it rains, the water can drip off. Um, and when the actual truck trailer carries the cars and you want to unload them, it's like a little ramp. So now that you've got that part done, we can filter in this part of the slab. So once again, we're going to do the same here. Grab your slab, bring that out, and just basically connect that up to the end. So we'll just grab here, here, and here. Just like that. And as you see, you've got that nice kind of pattern going. Let's do it around the other side as well. So reversing it, bring it out, up and over. That's all it is, is up and over. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay, so the next part we're going to do is we're going to work on this cobblestone wall and it's up by two so we're going to place two slabs on top we're going to bring that out by one and we're going to bring that across just like that now oh, matter of fact you don't even have to do that take them ones out just on the sides then from this point we're going to use this block and we're going to come out up and over so up and over, up and over. So you'll only have four here. One, two, three, four before it connects. Do the same again. Center slab, up and over. Like so, and back again. Up and over. up and over. Once again, from the end, up and over again. So just knock that, place that back. It's just a bit repetitive on the bricks, so it's, it's just pretty simple there. And once we get to that part, we can come up and over again and just connect that by two. So connect that by two. We'll place that little bit there. Cool. So now what we can do from this top layer here, we can just run that all the way through and that will connect nicely to this. You we'll have a double and that's all you have to do. So we just run that across. Oh, wrong bit. Connect that over. Like so. And once again, with your iron trap doors, you can actually place them across. Like so. On the sides here, because we can put in the car now and you're not going to have the overhang, you can actually go and grab yourself, uh, let's just grab the button, the carpet. We can actually run the carpet along the edges. Run them all the way down the sides. back down this way you can follow the contour of it just keep running the carpet on the side as I said once again any choice of carpet you could use black that would look good and we'll change over here we'll put in the iron trap doors here as well like so Beautiful. So we've got that. Now it's up to you guys what you want to do. I think, I mean, you could use these iron trap doors on the base. I think the, the slabs would be a lot better. 
But what you want to do as well, and I haven't picked them up, is grab yourself some uh, weighted pressure plates and stick them on top of the wheel arch there. For extra support. Come down, place your item frames in. And you want to place your item frames here and here as well. Connect that through. Dig a little trench through the middle. And place your cobblestone wall like so. And you can knock out those and just place in your cobblestone wall at the top. So it's all connected in. And then just clo whoop, close off the road. Like so. And your signs, I think, how oh, I done my signs just straight across. So three signs. Once again, put in your number plate. Like that. Cool, 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 cool. Underneath here, you want to grab yourself birch fence gates again. You want to place them either side. Dig another trench. I should have done that before Z. Like so. Let's close this off. You can either do a mud guard and just have three. So we'll do that. Mud guard here, and you can do a mud flap this side. Come around. Mud flap here. Mud flap here. Grab your cobblestone wall again. I thought it was just two, it's actually three Z. One, two, three, knock out those three. One, two, three, so it's all connected in. Now I haven't done it on that side over there, but if you wanted to, you, I suppose you could replace these. So it's got that kind of kick underneath and then cover that with like a carpet or something, or even place a car over the top of it, which will do that very shortly. But we've got that happening now, okay? And we'll go down and we'll go and grab ourselves a iron block and we'll grab ourselves a button. We'll continue with the contour and selection of the wheel arches and the wheel trims by putting in our buttons like that. Iron block inside. With your signs, you can drop three signs either side. Here, here, and here. Now, this is a personal preference, okay? Now, I like doing these on trucks. You can either have your line going across ordinary truck like so, or you can actually put in a bit of texture here. So what I'm going to do is, from this actual three uh, cobblestone, knock out one, two, three, four, and five. From this one, two and three so it's one behind the cobblestone wall go back and grab ourselves some stone brick stairs and then turn them upside down from this point what we can do then we we'll go over to the other side we'll do exactly the same so one back one two three four five put our stairs what we need to do is grab ourselves some iron trap doors and some signs. Trap the signs on the edge. Once again, you can put your name of your truck company on the, on the actual thing here by, I don't know, put a Z, A, R, I, U, S, H, D. So they've got their truck company logo on the side and on the front. And we'll just keep going along the lines of plates and the signs on. Like so. And with your iron trap doors, just run a little gully underneath and place your trap doors directly underneath. And then we'll just... Whoop, no, we want to grab that. Just close that off. 
back over the other side, run a little gully again. Iron trap doors on the stairs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll just close this off. Now what you want to do is you want to grab yourself a red bed. Go all the way back down the end again. Place your beds inside the item frames like so. And a button either side. Just like that. Cool. With your signs, what you want to do is you want to come to the corner here and just cover the corners. Basically, sort of like a bash guard for the trailer. All the added detail looks really good. Now, now that that is all complete, the reason why I did it like this is that if you wanted to build a car on top and get that kind of effect, and I'm just going to use, let's just grab a different color block. Uh, let's do a green block. If you wanted to build a car on top, you can. And I'll just build one on top here. You can place your blocks here and it's going to look legit. So if we want to put a green block in and uh, things like this, it's going to give you the option to do it. So yeah, you can you can do it like this and maybe uh, just something like that. But you get the gist of it. You can actually place in your cars and you're not going to be overwhelmed. You can actually walk behind them. You can actually, I mean, what you could do as well, to be honest, and uh, it, it's entirely up to you guys. Once you place your blocks down like so, like this, just cover all that off. So it covers all the cobblestone wall. And you're building the car. What you could do, and it's entirely up to you, you could either run a rail or a bit of redstone. As if the car is actually tied down. So it's not going to fall off. Or you can use the redstone so it's all connected. So it's sort of like a chain holding on the cars as well. Um, but I'll leave that to your imagination. It's it's entirely up to you. Um, but I think that that is it. That is the... Uh, the truck and the car carrier just to show you what you can do you've got plenty of room I'll take these out you've got plenty of room to place many cars depending on the size of the car you've got a whole line of cars in there you've got them all up the top as well and as I said because you've got the width you can actually run past and drop down the stairs and still have room to move but that is it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed this vehicle tutorial. Be sure to stick around because I have many, many, many more. If you like this video, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials, let's builds, and collabs with other Minecraft YouTubers as well. Stay fun and happy, and I shall see you all on the next video.